Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is lecture number 14 on solid state physics. Today, I want to discuss the Langevin Debye equation. This is under dielectric properties of material. You can see this is the syllabus of Calcutta University sixth semester solid state physics. This portion that is crystal structure, elemental, lattice dynamics, magnetic properties of matter already discussed. We continue the dielectric property of material. Up to this portion, we already discussed that is the the last discussion we discuss about the normal and inverse dispersion, Cauchy and similar relation. Today we want to discuss about the Langevin Debye equation. So let's start. And in upcoming lectures, we will be continuing the complex dielectric constant and then Drouet theory, elementary band theory, then superconductivity. So let's begin to the discussion. Actually, Langevin device theory uh, depends on the uh, actually dipolar orientation polarizability. Uh, when we discuss about the polarizability, there are mainly three types of polarizability electronic, ionic, and the dipolar orientation. Electronic means when the electron is displaced due to the external electric field, uh, ionic when the ions are separated by the external electric field, and this is dipolar orientation polarizability is the permanent. Polarization dipole moment within this material, such as if you consider water, uh, there is a permanent dipole moment for HCl, there is a permanent dipole moment, but as a whole, the total dipole moment is zero. Uh, there are thermal hesitation when we apply the external electric field, then this dipole is oriented and total dipole moment is not equal to zero. So, due to uh, with no external field, total dipole moment is zero. The, there are dipole moment uh, oriented in such a manner this uh, resultant dipole moment is zero and uh, when we apply a external electric field or magnetic field dipole moment so this will be the magnetic field magnetic dipole moment. so this uh, in, in case of electric dipole moment uh, this positive negative so electric dipole moment. so due to this external electric field these dipoles are arrived so finally the resultant dipole moment is not equal to zero some example like h2o hcl you can see they are as a permanent dipole moment and these are not uh, is total equal to not equal to zero in presence of electric field okay due to thermal energy this resultant will be zero but when we apply the electric field this is not equal to zero then actually uh, orientational or dipolar uh, dipolar probability arises due to external field due to external field force exerted by plus q is like that q e and this is minus q e so this make a torque and these dipoles are aligned with this electric field the energy required to this uh, dipole is equal to minus p dot e that is p cos theta According to the statistical mechanism, the number of dipole having orientation theta and theta plus d theta will be like that. This is actually solid angle and this is the energy expression. According to Boltzmann statistics, Boltzmann, Maxwell Boltzmann statistics. This is actually Maxwell Boltzmann statistics. Now, if you want to find out the average component of dipole moment along the electric field, will be like that. That is p cos theta along the electric field, that is p cos theta, and this is the number. Okay. This is small number exponential. This is number and this is number. This is the dipole moment along electric field. So if you just substitute and integrate this one, take this p e cos theta by kt as a x and p e by kt as a a. So this uh, minus sine theta d theta equal to this one. So finally you will be get one by a d. Uh, take this substitution and continue in this integration. I think you can do this integration. You will be take the integration by parts and put this value. Finally, you will obtain this expression, and this is nothing but cot hyperbolic A. And this function is known as the Langevin function, and this is known as Langevin Debye equation. Actually, this equation is for the dipolar polarizability. So, this is the average dipole moment. If you consider two uh, cases, that is when energy is high. Uh, e is high then t is low because the relation uh, actually e is not energy the e is the electric field when electric field is high and e, t is low then langevin function tends to one that is the saturation in case of e is low that is t is high hesitation 
is a by 3 so this Langevin function is found like that so finally average dipolar moment will be p square e by 3 kt so the polarizability is nothing but dipole moment per electric field so p square by 3 kt for a higher electric field this p is non-linear function of e this satisfy actual clausius master relation you know the clausius master relation this relation says like that this is three part electronic polarizability ionic polarizability and dipolar polarizability this is the dipolar polarizability that is p square by 3 kt this actually obtained by Langevin divide equation okay so i think clear about this theorem and if you wants to find out this Langevin's uh, diagram you will be obtained this equation okay i think clear if about this what part if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to star you will be get different physics video most of mathematics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video <coughs> your friends are that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of our video so take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you